You may be using the cloud now. Take a look at these services, Gmail, Yahoo, Google Drive, Office 365, and Dropbox. These are all cloud services. All these applications are stored remotely and provide you with the user interface to interact with them. There are a few things that make up a cloud application and they can be explained on a high level as follows. The first component of a cloud application is the compute. This is the brains of the operation and handles all the requests that you have of the application. The compute contains a processor and memory which in compute terms are a CPU and RAM. The processor processes the instructions and the RAM is the temporary high frequency memory used to hold the instructions as they are fed to the processor. Then comes storage. This is where the data and your application are saved. Think of this as the hard drive on your computer. It holds information the same way the hard drive on your computer holds information for your applications and other such information. Then comes the database. The database also stores information, kind of like storage. But the difference between plain old storage and a database is that the database stores the information in a structured way. The reason for doing this is so that the information is easily queryable and can be traversed and retrieved quickly and easily without requiring too much compute resources to find the information you need. Last comes the network. The network is responsible for con connecting your application on the cloud to the internet and for making sure that you have access to that application via the internet. There are three types of clouds. The first one is the public cloud. This is a cloud service provided by some service providers such as GCP or AWS where you can pay as you go when using this type of cloud. Public clouds are easily scalable and very elastic. The second one is the private cloud. This is the cloud that you technically create yourself. That is to say that this is your on-premises cloud. You have complete control over customizability here and it's the most secure of all your options. However, it is really expensive to maintain and upkeep and it is not easily scalable nor elastic. The maintenance of this cloud falls entirely upon you and there may be latency issues down the line. Lastly, you have the hybrid cloud, which is a combination of both public and private cloud. This is often found when companies are shifting from private to public cloud. Sometimes it's used as a backup option in case of emergency. As a general overview, the cloud provides hardware and application services over the internet. Resources that you once had to buy for your hardware, like compute power, memory, storage, and graphical compute, are all provided as services. There is no cost for the acquiring of this hardware, nor is there any cost associated with the maintenance. You just provision what you need and you use it. Data centers are the actual meat and potatoes of the cloud. They are the physical servers that you will find within the availability zones. Again, an availability zone may have a number of these data centers or even just one depending on multiple factors. Parts of your application will be stored across these servers.